Hey everybody, my name is Blackjack, and welcome to my new Let's Play of Hurdy Gurdy. Ooh. Alright, so, a quick story time real quick as the game is loading up. <laughs> uh, oh, sorry about that, that's my chair. Um, if you can hear that, that was my chair squeaking. I, uh, I found this game at my local mom and pop gaming shop, and I was like, wow, this cover looks bad. So I picked it up, because <laughs> you know I me, mean, I love bad games. But um, it, what, what do I mean by bad games is, like I like games like Pimp My Ride, you know? <laughs> what's what's that other game? Um, Wipeout, you know what I'm saying? Like Wipeout for Wii, like those kinds of games. This is just like a bad game. <laughs> like, a, a, like a genuinely bad game. What sucks is that it's by Core Design. And if you don't know who Core Design is, those are the people that made the Tomb Raider series. At least in the beginning, I don't know if they're still making them. I think Crystal Dynamics is doing them now. But like at the beginning, it's it's by Core and it's being published by Idos, who also was a really big company at the time. So like when I found that out, I was like, "Holy shit, this might actually be a good game!" And I was disappointed almost immediately. <laughs> actually, not almost immediately. Like we'll we'll get there when we get there. It's like halfway throughout the game. Maybe uh no, maybe not halfway through, but by like maybe part thirteen is when the disappointment started set in like the frustrations and shit but for what all in all like this game was actually kind of fun in the beginning and these are what the loading screens are like by the way it's every time you load a level or leave a level or sometimes go into certain areas there's gonna be a screenshot and then like a, a loading time that's about this long for each one um there's only one screen this is the only one that i can think of that has one loading time that goes into a loading time that goes into the title menu those are really the only ones um but yeah, so we're going to just have this journey throughout Hurdy Gurdy. It's going to be about 20 something parts long. I think 21 or two parts, I believe. No bonus video. I couldn't be asked to do that. But um, yeah, so let's just listen to the music real quick because I actually genuinely enjoy it. All right, well, let's continue on and start this game off of the music, or from the music, rather. So in the extras, this is where you find uh, the secret stuff. Well, these are just bonus contents. I'll show some of those off later, but I'm not going to show all of them off because I just couldn't be asked towards the end. <laughs> couldn't be arsed to do it. <laughs> uh, so we're just going to fiddle fuck around here, see what kind of things we can mess around with. Uh, it's all pretty just standard stuff, nothing worth changing there are no subtitles to this game because most of the dialogue is done in these well you'll see but like the videos like or the cutscenes like this don't have any subs uh subtitles so i'll be quiet and uh let's uh check out how hurdy gurdy begins Thank you. 
Alrighty, so that was the first cutscene. I am slowly dying. <laughs> I am coughing up a storm. I kind <clears> of <throat> getting better from a, s a small cold I had recently. So uh, we're going to just mess around, see how we can play. So it's a platformer. It's a puzzle platformer, so you can't actually attack or anything, but you can run around and jump. And Gertie starts off with a really weak-ass jump. Um, I kind of liked that at first, to be honest with you. I kind of thought it was like, wow, that's a weak jump. So there's probably going to be some interesting puzzle, uh, not puzzles. There's going to be some interesting platforming segments where I have to work with a, a really bad jump. So we're going to be collecting these bell set levels, but I'm not going to be collecting all of them. Um, we'll find out what they do in a second. Let's talk to this character. His name is Spike. If, uh, if I can make over the... F there we go. Hey there, Gertie. You ready for the tournament yet? You know, someday I'm going to be a great shepherd. I can't all be duped by myself, and I'm only 12. I bet when I'm as old as your dad, I'll be the greatest shepherd that ever lived. Hey, where is he? He's cutting things a bit fine, isn't he? Shh. I can't wake him up. He won't get up. Gee, didn't I just tell you I was only 12? You're going to need some old folk to help you out with this one. Go to the village and speak to Grandma. They don't come much older than that one. I tell you, I don't think she's ever moved from that chair of hers. I bet she's been there since the elders. Okay, okay. Here's the quickest route to the village. See that green arrow over there? <laughs> no. What? Are you blind? Look, it's right there. Okay, okay. Here's the quickest route to the village. See that green arrow over there? Okay, yeah, I see it. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> Head over to that spot <laughs> and you'll meet Jeez, you. Spike. She's almost as old as Grandma. Damn, Spike, why are you hating on the old Ellie? Fuck. You can do that at any time using your map button. Alright, so we're gonna start off with something I already dislike, and it's the map. Ooh, do I not like the map? Look how fucking huge this thing is. Oh my god, like they couldn't have made it like a smaller mini map. I don't know. Metroid Super Metroid had a really great map and it didn't take up any enough like any space. And I'm saying that like, this show was fucking huge for 2002. I don't know. Yet. Oh, the other thing is the camera. So, uh another thing is you can actually come back here later and talk to Spike and he has a challenge where you have to herd the the dupes into the pen in under a minute and a half. I did it, but I'm not going to show it to you guys because it wasn't worth anything. You didn't, you don't get anything out of it, nothing of value. But we might as well just walk around Gertie's gut, <clears throat> Gertie's hut. Ooh, excuse me, not his gut. <laughs> Oops, that took a sharp turn <laughs> in thematics, in theming. Anyway, so we're gonna walk around, uh, get this camera stuck on literally everything because this has one of the worst cameras I have ever experienced. And um, I tried making this game look as good as I could, honestly. And uh, there's going to be a character in the next video, I believe, in which he'll explain to us how the camera will work. But I'm going to do it real quick anyway. Um, the camera has three modes. It has up close, like it is now. It has standard, and then it has super far away. Or I think the game calls it shepherd mode or herding mode or something like that. I like herding mode, be uh, herding mode the best because you can see the entire area and then the map doesn't cover as much. But when the camera zooms in like this um, and you're using the map, which you're going to be doing fairly often if you want to plan out routes and, and figure out the puzzles in this game, it's going to be very hard to see. And the worst part is... You see how the camera changed us there? That wasn't me changing the camera. The camera changed, oh, like right here too. That wasn't me changing the camera. The camera does it by itself. And that's the most frustrating thing ever because you'll be trying to run through corridors. Oh, this is how I learned that Gertie can't swim, swim either. <laughs> I jump into the river and die and I was like, oh shit. Oh, okay. I guess I can't swim, fuck it, all right, whatever. But yeah, so. You'll be like, like right there. Like I didn't touch any of that. Like I didn't, I didn't, I'm not fucking with the camera. I didn't even know I could change the camera at this point. I learned that later. But like when you're walking around and stuff, um, the camera just changes focus. And like that, I could see that being useful. But what it ends up happening 
is that the camera gets stuck on the walls and like as you're trying to run through the camera's moving and it'll just get stuck and it will blind you and you can't see shit One thing I do have to give credit to this game, though, is that it explains everything rather well. Um, but it explains literally everything. Like, even later on the levels when new mechanics will come in, it's going to be explaining things, which is fine, which I don't mind because, like, I, I of course, I don't know how the game works the first time playing through, so the game is nice enough to explain it to me. But uh, we'll take a look at all that later. In the next episode, we're going into, I believe it's called Va Meadow Village, I think. Sorry, not Valley Floor. Valley Floor is the following level. But we're going into Meadow Village. So we're just going to save, and uh, I'll see you guys for the next part. Bye. Thanks for watching.